Yo, what's up guys, man, it's the video on the Anchor channel. Today's video, I'll be showing a video that I literally have never seen any video on during this update, and it is how to actually maximize your sword damage. Now, I know obviously most people are demons, but there is still a lot of demon saves out. So this video is actually made for you guys. So, oh yeah, just like and sub for that one, please. But anyway, yeah, there's actually everything you need to do if you want to get the max sword damage inside of obviously Project Slayer's update 1.5. Before I start this video, I just want to mention we're trying to get 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. So it would really help me out if you guys could just click that subscribe button. It's literally free. And yeah, join my Discord. I host giveaways basically every single day. And uh, yeah, I give away like crazy stuff like war fans, polar sites straw hats so yeah make sure you guys join our discord as well and first things first we do have clans now clans is the big part of this one because i just realized how much sword damage clans give and it's insane so the clan that will actually be giving you the most is most is obviously the uzbi clan if you guys do not know it gives four strength four swords and two weapons and if you add all that together then that gives you six seven eight nine ten that's literally 10 extra damage you get from literally just having the clan on its own so it's super op clan out the way uzui clan definitely the one you want it's also like the one of the best supreme as well so yeah you kind of you kind of got to get it after that one all right but moving on we do have the equipment now the equipment is something else so obviously if we go over to my let me go to load out one if we do go over to masks all right now the best mask for sword damage is actually going to be the polar mask as you guys see it has one plus weapon damage which also counts for swords one plus sword damage which obviously counts for sword and it also has a 2.25 all damage boost this one by far is the best you some people might think the tigress warding mask is the best as you guys see it has three damage but overall you are already getting 2.25 percent from the all damage boost and you're also getting two extra sword damage as well so this one really helps also getting the ae max health full block and the essence multiplier all that kind of stuff so yeah the one by far is going to be the polar mask. All right, moving on to scarf. Obviously, this is going to be the red scarf. This is the only scarf in the game other than the champion scarf that actually does give a strength boost, which then obviously increases your damage by one. So yeah, it's the red scarf right here. Next is none of them increase your necklace, so just go with this one. For shirts, the devour top is actually going to be the best as like an 8.5 all damage boost. I only have the polar top right now, which only has a 5% all damage boost. But yeah, if you guys do have the devour top, then yeah, the devour top is the way to go. All right, for the bottoms, you're going to want to get the polar bottoms as the polar bottoms have a 3.5 all damage boost. The devour bombs only have a 2. 2.5 so yeah definitely want to get the polar bottoms uniform doesn't give any boost now higher you are going to want to use the murasaki ro suta i'm not going to pronounce the name but this one right here as you guys see fist damage doesn't matter art damage doesn't matter but three plus weapon damage is extremely very very good so uh yeah this is actually the higher you guys want to use and obviously lantern it does not increase your damage anyway so uh, yeah there's all the actual pieces of equipment that you are going to want to have to get max sword damage which really really helps all right, next we're going to talk about actual items as well because there are actually some items that can increase it. And first we're going to be talking about obviously the elemental swords. Now if you guys do not know, in the new update, they do have the new polar sword and the devour sword. I have the devour sword right here. But these swords are going to be the best swords that you can actually get in the game as of right now. So obviously I have the devour sword as I already showed you guys. But yeah, this isn't tier 3. It's literally just the one that I have to show. It only has 3.7k blood. If you guys do increase your blood, if you guys do get different uh, parts, you guys watch, you can get... You guys can watch multiple different guides on YouTube, but basically if you guys do get the correct ingredients, all that kind of stuff, then you guys can actually upgrade your weapon to tier one, to tier two, and then last but not least, to tier three. So tier three, the Vow Katana slash tier three Polar Katana is going to be the best. I'm pretty sure the Vow Katana is slightly better. Don't ask me why. All I know is that it's higher in trade values. So chances are it's probably harder to get and it's probably better. So yeah, honestly, the Vow Katana is definitely the Katana you guys are actually going to want to have. All right, next we're going to go through obvious stuff such as level 5 breathing. Now, if you guys do not know, there's different levels of breathing. You just got to keep using the same breathing thing over and over again, I'm pretty sure. And you can get to level 5 breathing. This basically gives you like a full Demon Slayer buff. So, obviously, going to be doing more sword damage, going to have more breathing, all that kind of stuff. I'm not really sure exactly what it does because, as you guys see, I am actually a demon. But, yeah, as far as all your Demon Slayers out there, being a level 5 breather is definitely the way to go. And then, last but not least, we do have titles. Now, titles, which is probably the most low-key one out of all of them, guys do come over here there are different titles that give different stuff for example you have the akuma which is what i have it gives you a one plus strength boost that means that you just do one extra damage so yeah that really helps out a lot you have other stuff such as you have stuff like the crusader which also gives you this is three extra m1 damage really good you also have the mercenary which is the exact same thing so that's another three extra weapon damage honestly as long as you get as many of these titles as possible you don't have to get the extremely rare ones because those ones normally don't really give any boost for example these ones which are super hard to get they only give drop rate and the other stuff also it gives like just a bunch of random stuff so yeah definitely want to get all those titles fairly easy to get the akuma title obviously once i said once again does give one strength boost so you can try get akuma but that one's fairly straightforward you'll probably just get that one naturally but yeah that is going to be it for the video hope this video did obviously help you guys with sword damage bro all my demon says out there bro you guys are underrated literally i'm pretty sure like 80 percent of the player base now is all just demons so yeah it's cool that we have some demon says in it this video is actually for you and uh yeah that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it hit that like button hit the subscribe button we're like 40 members away from 1k members on discord 
please, please, please join up. And yeah, that's it for the video. Peace out, boys.